2023 at 7 o'clock p.m. I'd like to call this meeting to order. If everyone can please stand and we're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Again, thank you everyone for showing up. Okay, so uh, everyone's been checked in. I'd like to first begin by uh, setting of the moderator's salary. A motion <laughs> to set the salary. And what amount? Zero. Zero dollars. Second. Okay. Uh, hold on one second, please. Who second that, please? Steve. Steve. Okay. And let's see. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Sorry. Anyone Black opposed? Board. No? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay, the ayes have it. Okay, uh, next, uh, I need to uh, elect a moderator. I'll motion, James Shake. Second, Bowen. Okay. James Shake. Second, Steve Bowen. Okay. If uh, James, uh, all, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay, if James can please come up to the front here. Sworn in. Wanna, I'm going to say that to you. Uh, just read it back to me. Okay, if you can please raise, raise your right hand. I'm giving the oath to the moderator. Guys, can you give it down a little bit? Okay. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of moderator. Discharge the duties of moderator. At this town meeting. At this town meeting. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Okay. You're in. Go ahead and sign that for me, please. You can sign this one and sign this one. And sign it. Okay. And there is the agenda. You want to go ahead and. I will sit out of your way. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, if I sit? Yes, absolutely. Right. Okay, we're going to set the date for the next annual town meeting, so I need a motion. I'd like to make a motion for April 9th, 2024 at 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, second. Oh, yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approval of minutes. Annual town meeting of electors, April 12, 2022. Motion required to approve. I'll make a motion to approve the April 12, 2022 uh, minutes. I'll second. second. Who second? Angel. Angel. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Presentation of the supervisor's annual financial statement. I'll make a motion to accept the motions as written does not need to be uh, read. Second ballot. Ballot. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> uh, I need a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll, I'll start the motion. <laughs> I'll, I'll second. Second. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. All right. Thank you. Good job, Maria. Take your bottle. Okay, now we're going to. Yes, you can. Very efficient. Very efficient. Okay, now we're going to We're going to right away go into our regularly scheduled board meeting. I know. I'll see the Good job. Okay, we're going to, it's 7 o'clock, so we're going to start the next meeting. Um, Mr. Shake, do we want to leave us in the pledge? Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, 
one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, Rob, you want to do the prayer? Sure. Father God, thank you for this evening. Thank you for the beautiful day you provided us with, Lord. And uh, Lord, allow us to have a meeting that glorifies you and help us make decisions of it to glorify you as well. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. You want to do the roll call? Absolutely. Trustee Rivera. Yes, here. Uh, Trustee Conley. Here. Trustee Bonomo. Here. Supervisor Ballage. Here. We have a quorum. Okay, public comments? We sure. One. We have one person. Uh, Mike Carlson. Hold on, Mike, can I please start the timer before you come out here? You're on. Okay, I just want to say congratulations, Sue. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. So I want to talk some business. I want to, uh, what I want to do is last meeting I was here, there's two things that I, I, I missed out on. Uh, one was I wanted to talk about the dog park on 151st Street. Uh, in a couple weeks from now I have a big job to do, so I'm renting an aerator cedar. I would like to take one section of that and volunteer my time, donate my seed, and uh, fix the dog park up over there. It's really muddy over there. And if I do that, I ask that we lock the one fence up for three weeks. And then I'll do the other side in three weeks, and we can open up that fence. So we always have access. That place is packed on the weekends. It's packed during the week. I would like to have permission to go and do something like that, to volunteer my time to fix it up. Maybe get a couple more picnic tables out there, because one table is not enough for 60 people that come out there on the weekend. There's over 100 people that come out throughout the whole weekend. Okay. I mean, it's it's a big it's a big place. It's a big thing in this town, and I think it would be nice if we went up there and, and fixed it up and made it so it's not so muddy. The other thing was, is I noticed there were some seniors in here the last meeting, and they were having trouble with some of their stuff in their rental houses or their homes. I would more than gladly volunteer my time as my duty to give back to this what uh, a great town we have. If they need smoke alarm battery changes, light bulb changes, I'll do it for absolutely free. And in the ne next meeting, I'll bring in a business card and they can call me. Anything bigger than that, then, you know, we're talking, well, I'll have to charge. But this, people need help doing that stuff. And I'd be more than happy to move a couch, move furniture around for them. Okay. You know, I got time to do that. I would love to take care of any seniors that need any help, you know, without being gouged in prices and stuff. So that's all. all right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, before the clerk gives her report, uh, does anybody have a problem with Mike uh, doing what he said at the dog park, you know, uh, seating it? Because it's not on the agenda, we can't vote on it, but can I get a consensus of everybody to say whether you think it's okay or not? I'll give it okay. Okay. Are you guys okay with it, Brent and Carmen? Yeah, there's no permits that would be required for that from the uh, township, so he's fine with it. And we, we didn't have it on the agenda, so we couldn't vote, Mike. But okay. uh, there's you. no problem with it. Thank you for all your help. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Vicki, uh, you want to do your report? Sure. I'd like to uh, get a motion to approve the March 13th, 2023 monthly township board meeting minutes. I'll start the motion. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Uh, any nays? Okay. Motion passes. Um, I just to follow up on the parade, it will, you know, we've been talking about it for a while now, June 24th. If anybody has not signed up but would like to sign up, please get your applications in. Uh, the same thing with the Pet Fest, Saturday, June 17th from noon until 3 at the Town Center Park right behind us here. And again, if um, you know of anybody that might be interested in doing the Pet Fest, please uh, have them contact me or you can contact them and see if they're willing to uh, join us for the event. So. And that's that includes my report. I have nothing else. Okay, now we'll go on to my report. Uh, we need a motion to accept the resignation of Angel Shake as Homer Township tax collector. I will start that motion. I'll second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Okay. Motion passes. Okay. Uh, motion to accept the resignation of Mark Garland as Homer Township trustee. I'll start the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? Okay, motion passes. A uh, little discussion real quick, if you don't mind, on Mark. I just wanted to say, you know, um, you know, it's a difficult time to see him go. He's going for business reasons, for personal reasons, not uh, for any other. 
and he's been a tremendous asset to the township with everything he's done along with his wife in terms of helping me and everyone else in the community when it comes to the Homer Fest and everything else. Um, his time was valuable and uh, I wish he was here so we could say it to him face to face and give him a round of applause and maybe he'll be watching soon and I think he should, we should give him a, an acknowledgement. So if you don't mind. Thank you. So, uh, Trustee Garwin has resigned due to no employment, but will remain on all the committees and will volunteer as his time permits. Because he said he still wants to be involved, but he can't guarantee how much time he has. So, um, he may be at some of our stuff, maybe not, but he wants to be involved with us. So, he's leaving on great terms. And his wife, too. And his, his wife, wife you know, yes. no, we, they did a real lot for our group here, for the township. Volunteer. Okay, then um, now we have a motion to approve Angel Shake as a Homer Township trustee. And just so everybody's clear about it, in townships, the collector is part of our board. And so when a collector, when a trustee resigns or quits or uh, moves on to something else or is real sick and you got to replace them, it's normal procedure to move the clerks up. I mean, not the clerk, the collectors. So yes, we're just following what most townships do. Not all of them do it. You don't have to, but most of them do it. And Angel's been a really, really good volunteer for a lot of the committees, and I think she's going to be a good trustee. So you want to start that motion? I'd be more than proud to start that motion. I'll second it. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Okay, motion passes. I, Angel Shake. I, Angel Shake. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Of the United States. States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Homer Township Trustee. The duties of the Homer Township Trustee to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Welcome aboard. The Homer Township. Okay, motion to approve Michael Clausen as a Homer Township tax collector. So Mike Clausen will be on our board. And I think he'll be a huge asset. He has a lot of knowledge about things that we're doing at the Trantina Farm and other stuff also. I mean, he's just an all-around person that has high qualities. And therefore, it was uh, my choice, and that's why I chose him. So uh, get a motion for that? I'll second the motion. All in favor? Uh, Any nays? Motion passes. Okay, Michael, yeah, if you want to come up here, please. Okay. 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 I, Michael Clausen, I, Michael Clausen, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties, and I, that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of Homer Township Tax Collector to the best of my abilities, of the office of Homer Township Tax Collector to the best of my ability. Welcome to the board. Next, we need a motion to approve a special <laughs> needs committee. And I want to make it clear that this is not a competition with the village of Homer Glen. Nicole Laha told me to go ahead and do it, that it would be a plus to that committee, that if we do something from the township. We've had uh, Missy Chanarera in particular, who's been complaining about no voice for people of Homer Township, and now they're going to have a voice. We're resurrecting the committee that was here a long time ago, and uh, 
So I think it's a good idea. Otherwise, I wouldn't do it, and I wouldn't ask the board. And uh, so, with that, do we uh, have a motion for that? I'll, I'll second the motion. I'll second the motion. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Okay. Motion passes. A motion to approve Angel Shake as the chair of the special needs committee. I'll start that motion. I'll second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Okay, motion passes. Okay, motion to approve Brent Porfilio as the co-chair of the special needs committee. I'll start that motion. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? Okay, motion passes. I just wanted to say something real quick. Sure. If you don't mind. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a lot of the people in unincorporated home or township there's a, there's a lot of special needs kids in that sector, and they're not really covered by the Homer Glenn uh, Chapter of the Building Awareness Committee. So that's why we're doing this. And I want to stress to everybody, and this is very important, it's a nonpartisan committee. We're going to be having people from all over the, the Homer Glenn and Homer Township on this committee. I know Missy was one of them. Miss O'Connor had approached me about being on the committee, and I would like to extend my hand out and ask whoever knows of somebody that would like to be on the committee let me know because the more people that we have the more things that we can do and the further we're going to get along with this because you ha we have recreational associations Lincoln Way and there's one over in Crest Hill that we're going to try to team up with as well to get us off the ground so please if you know anybody reach out to either Angel or myself and let us know you know if you have people that are interested in participating in because there was a couple people at the last meeting that approached me afterwards that said, hey, if you ever form one, we'd like to help. So I want to make that clear to everybody. It's about the kids and the special needs adults. It's not about who runs the committee. It's very important to understand. And I would like to also say that these two have the biggest hearts when it comes to you know, children with ability awareness and their things, disabilities, and I think they'd be a third great asset too. Thank you. The, uh, the cause. And when, I, uh, when I set this up with Angel, I told her that the smart thing to do in the beginning is to have a five-person committee and then everybody else is on the committee as a volunteer and everybody can have input, mm -hmm. but if you have too big, a, if you end up with 30 people on a, a committee, it's, it's too many voices yelling. So to start off, it's going to be five if uh, Brent and Angel think they should move up, it'll be seven, but they can have as many people as they want in the group. Now that doesn't doesn't matter. It's just a matter of uh, being able to get a quorum and actually get stuff done. Because if you have 30 people in a room, you won't get nothing done, without a doubt. So uh, to start out, it'll be five on the committee part. But uh, the rest of it, whatever they decide is, and I don't care how many people, but just want to make sure to start out as five. And then it can go to seven if you guys want. All right, um, we, uh, the township abated $3,613.58 this year from extra money that we paid to the county. We could have kept it, but we didn't. We abated it, so that's not a lot of money when you divide it up, but it's, whatever it is, it's less you pay to the taxes for Homer Township. So that abatement happened. Um, Information for the whole the Homer Township Highway Department is abating seven thousand two hundred twenty-seven dollars and sixteen cents. So Brent abated a huge, a bigger amount of money that he could have took and used for whatever. Well, it's a it's you know what you combine the two is ten grand. You know it's it's not peanuts, and that's money we're saving the taxpayer. To us. We're about helping people, but we're also about helping people so they don't go broke and they don't get kicked out of their house because they can't pay their taxes. Because that's happening, whether people want to admit it or not. People are struggling really bad now. Okay, motion to approve, uh, this is a planning uh, commission thing. Motion to approve a zoning case ZC23-018, a special use permit in A1 zoning for landscape business. Uh, Carmen Morella and me went out and we looked at it and there's nothing around it, it's no problem. So uh, we had notified the board and let them know that we don't have a problem with it. And 
So now we'll bring it to board for approval to say yes to the county. I'll, 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 I'll start that motion. Eliza. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? Okay, motion passes. A motion to approve a truck dealership on 142nd and Archer Avenue. And again, that's the planning commission thing. And what that is, we, me and Carmen went out there again. It's, uh, there's nothing around there. It's like a car dealership, except it's for trucks. So that's a winning proposition for tax dollars for Homer Township. And there's nothing there to, uh, you know, to, nobody's going to get mad about it. It's, it's like hidden in the weeds. So uh, I need a motion to start with uh, doing that one, approving that. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Okay, motion passes. A motion to approve parking expansion for the Booth Family Limited Partnership. He's the orthodontist on 143rd Street. He wants to add on to his property and make a parking lot. There's nothing over there either. If you go over there and look at it, they, he probably needs a parking lot. That's where the red light is, and it's a, a bad location, you know, for any kind of business, really. But that's where he's at. He wants to add down so he gets more parking. So I need a motion to approve that. I'll start the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Okay, motion passes. <coughs> Okay, motion. Uh, well, now we're at the Highway Commissioner's report from Perpilio. Yeah, one, one, one quick thing. For the last two items, are the permits involved for uh, the truck dealership and the parking expansion? Do they go through anybody on that? Is this Those the are the county zoning? next. Okay. So the county's going to handle all that? Yeah, they handle it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The, the right. Planning Commission is our entire board. Mm -hmm. And then and the parking lot will be by the village. Yeah. Just want to yeah. make sure they got them. They're, they're getting their permits. Okay, got a few items. I'll go through these uh, rather quickly. Um, the 2023-2024 road district tax levy uh, <coughs> is going to be 1.375 million. That's a 22% reduction from the previous year. Um, the 2024-2025 tax levy, which I'm starting to work on right now, which is due at the end of this year, 99.9% um, .9 that it's going to be another cut. Uh, for the for the, for that year versus this year, so that'll be three straight years, and I'm going to have a tax cut as promised. Um, the Smith Road Bridge at Long Run Creek. I don't know how, how many people cross over that that are in the audience, but um, we're going to be replacing that bridge and the uh, superstructure and the substructure of the bridge. Um, it's getting to the point now where we can't have any um, school buses cross it or small box trucks, and we have a, a sheriff that sits out there on Smith Road and gives uh, tickets out to people that are um, over the uh, load limit. So in order to um, save taxpayer dollars, we have an 80% participation by IDOT for the replacement costs and the engineering costs for this uh, project. 20% will be paid uh, in a three-way um, IGA, which will be between uh, the road district of Homer Township, the road district of Lockport Township, and the city of Lockport. So that further cuts the amount of money that we have to be involved with on this. Um, unfortunately, of course, since 80% is paid by IDOT, we have to follow their rules and their guidelines, which extends the life of the project. So it's going to be probably approximately three years before the project is complete to go through all three phases and before it's built. Um, so we're looking at 2026, 20, late 2026. Uh, that's, that's fingers crossed. Um, also in an effort to make sure that uh, everybody gets a shot at doing work on this. Our phase one consultant is not going to be the same one that does the phase two design. And it's also not going to be the same company that does the phase three construction management. Um, so that's something that I had asked for from the other two IGA participants and they're okay with that. Um, next, the paving program. The bids came in last week. They were very high. Uh, so the 2.3 miles I had in the, in the contract is going to be cut back a little bit to make sure that we're within the capital improvement budget because I'm not raising taxes. Um, the roadway lighting program bids came in. They were high as well. We're going to do the conventional portion of the uh, program this year, which is going to be where we have electrical power service. We're going to be replacing <coughs> poles, lights, mast arms, foundations. Um, all of that stuff is going to be completed this year. The, uh, the solar light part of it, because it's more expensive, we're going to do a test with a solar light on the access road to the uh, road district. If it works out and it's okay, 
in 2024 we'll be doing the solar light program. Uh, and we're going to be putting in lights where we have dark spots in the um, road district um, right of way. Uh, there's, I think there's eight of them that we're putting in uh, for safety. And people had called in and complained about it as well. Um, the striping program is going to be done this year. That came in lower than expected, which was wonderful. So that'll, that'll be done uh, this summer after the roadway program is finished. So all the, the striping and lines you see on the pavement for turning lanes and for uh, lane lines and shoulder lines and center lines, all that stuff is going to be redone for the entire road district. And last and not least, uh, April is Autism Awareness Month. I don't know if anybody knows that, but it's this whole month. And I have my special needs grant, and I'm still waiting for applications. I'm going to be extending it to May 1st. Please tell people that you know if they have a child over 18 that lives in Homer Township, that includes Homer Glen, to apply for this. It's online on the Homer Highway site. It's online on the Homer Glen site. It's also online on the Homer Township site. It's just a simple application this year is all it is. <coughs> and it's $5,000 to the person that, um, that wins it. So please, if you know anybody, please encourage them to apply for this. And that's all that I have. Okay. Thank you, Brent. Okay, then uh, we have our uh, trustee committee and reports. So uh, the first one would be the uh, task force with Mike Bonomo and City of Lahan. Well, I'd like to say, you know, today we completed, we had uh, the senior bingo event and we did it at Game On. And I got, you know, this is a testament to our community. Um, we were, originally, we always do our bingos at Cross of Glory. And this time around, uh, Dana had a conflict with a, another party coming in. And it was pretty much us or them. Uh, Dana gave me the choice if I wanted to do it or not. And the person, it was like a production or something going on there, and they were willing to, they were negotiating. They started out with about a thousand dollars to do it. And Dana called and said, Mike, if you want it, I'll tell them no. And when I hung up with her and I was calling around to see where else I could go, she calls me back and said, you know what, they're offering me $5,000. <laughs> and I said, you know what, I'm not going to interfere with that. But Dana also said that she would be willing to uh, donate half of those funds to the township senior committee, per se, or events that we perform. So that money will be set aside for senior activities. So anybody that comes across Dana, I mean, she is, she, she did a great thing. So, last minute, I called uh, Bronco, who has game on over at the Megaplex, and he said we, we, we would be more than welcome, more than happy to accommodate you. So today we had 101 seniors. He fed them. We had sound. It went off great. Um, thanks to Cindy. Thanks to Angel. Thanks, thanks to Mike Carlson for the sound. Mike Carlson for the sound. Right. Thanks to Karen. Thanks Christina. Uh, thanks to Vicky. It went perfect. And uh, we, we in time, we're going to be adding more things as we go on. Um, we're going to have a senior day at the Homer Fest that will be mentioned more as we go on. Uh, we're doing the gardening in two weeks. And uh, you know, the Senior Expo is going gonna, is gonna to be our uh, ending for the year. And as we did last year, it's going to be a great event. And um, again, uh, kudos to our, our businesses in the area. I think we, you know, we need to frequent them more and let them know how much we appreciate them. And again, anyone who sees Dana, say thank you. Uh, she did the township a, a huge favor, and if you're ever going down Bell Road, stopping the game on or the Megaplex, and uh, they have half-off pizzas on Mondays, and the pizza's what they serve today, the seniors loved it. So I just want to yes. give them kudos, and um, I also would like to congratulate Sue Stylin on her election results. And, thank you. and she was extremely helpful with me last year with the Senior uh, Expo, and I want to thank you. That's it. Okay, we're all Rob, do you have our report? Yeah. Hey, uh, Matt, do you have a report? No. Okay. Yeah, I have the thing. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I have the thing for the Multicultural Fest. You did not talk about it last month only because you were not here. Okay. So um, you were presented a plaque for our participation, or for your participation in the um, the Multicultural event in Homer 33C. Oh, okay. So just want to mention that. Yeah, if you didn't know, uh, the township and uh, 33C teamed up to do a multicultural event. Uh, Matt headed up the committee from the township, and um, we had uh, Brianna Rohde, my son Steve Ballage III, uh, John Walters, and uh, who am I missing? There's one more, uh, Tony Draper. They, those guys volunteered 
and uh, man kind of headed it up for the township and it was a huge success. The place was jammed. You couldn't even move there. And I think the food it was like was over oh, five, it must have been over 500 people. Oh, down. Well the, over. The, oh my gosh. It was, the food was it great. Was, it was and all fantastic. free food. I mean, they, they just had so much food there. It was so Ed, Ed Malley, entertainment. Yeah. Uh, he was the one that started it all. Mm -hmm. He called me up and said, do, do we want to get involved? And I said, yeah. And then I said, well, put Matt in charge of it for the township. Mm -hmm. And. Um, the best thing we did all in a long time yeah. because everybody had a good time. Mm -hmm. and good job, man. I gained That's five pounds. Good job, man. Okay, there's, uh, there was nothing for uh, our land use committee. And then the truck tax force, you got anything, Brandon? Don't have anything. Nothing for that one. Okay, the clerk's going to do the final stuff for the committee of local consolidation and efficiency act. Yes, like. Supervisor Ballage said this is our final meeting. If Jimmy Shake and Karen Rohde can please join us. Maybe just bring your chairs up here. If you want to just sit where you're sitting, that's fine too. Thank you. So uh, first I'd like a motion to exit the Homer Township regular board meeting minutes. I'll start that motion. Second. Okay. I'll take a roll call. Um, Trustee Shake. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Conley? Yes. Trustee okay. Manomo? Yes. Supervisor Ballage? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Next, I need a motion to enter, and that would be all of us here, the Committee on Local Government Consolidation and Efficiency Act. Second motion. Okay. I'll second the motion. Okay. I will take a quick roll call. Okay, Porfilio? Yes. Morella? Yes. Ballage? Yes. Bonomo? Yes. Conley? Yes. Rivera? Yes. Shake A. Uh, Clausen? Oh, wait a minute. You're not. Sorry, Mike. Uh, <laughs> you will be. Jimmy Shake. Next time. This is done now. And Garrett Rohde. Okay. Motion passes. There was nobody signed up for public comments. So, uh, first of all, I'd like to get a motion to approve the March 13, 2020 meeting minutes for the committee. So moved. Second. Okay, uh, roll call, let's see. Profilio? Yes. Morella? Yes. Balich? Yes. Bonomo? Yes. Conley? Yes. Rivera? Yes. Shake A? Yes. Shake uh, J? Yay. Yes. And Karen Rohde? Yay. <laughs> okay, motion passes. Okay, um, if you guys hopefully get a chance to look over the report, this is the final report I will be submitting to Will County. Um, if I get a motion to pass that report. I'll motion. All right, and we'll do this one more time. Oh, actually, two more hands. Profilio? Yes. Morella? Yes. Uh, Ballage? Yes. Bonomo? Yes. Conley? Yes. Rivera? Yes. Shake A? Yes. Shake J? Yes. Karen yes. Rohde? Okay. Motion passes. All right. Now I need a motion to exit the committee on local. Motion. Who's making that motion? <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Yes. Let's see if I can do my heart. Profilio? Yes. Morella? Yes. Ballage? Yes. Yes. Bonomo? Conley, yes. Rivera, yes. Shake A, yes. Shake J, yes. Karen Rohde. Yes. Okay. You guys are officially relieved of your duties. This is committee. Until <laughs> next year. Wait, till till next year. No, till <laughs> it's every 10 years. Oh, oh, it's every 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now I need a motion from our board to enter the regularly scheduled board meeting. I'll start that motion. I'll second. Oh, boy. Okay, I'll take a roll call. Trustee Shake. Yes. <laughs> Trustee yes. Rivera. Conley. Yes. Trustee Venomo. Yes. And Supervisor Bowditch. Yes. Okay, motion passes. We are in our regularly scheduled board meeting. Okay, uh, accounting now. Uh, motion to approve all payment of bills for March 2023. Founders Crossing Bond, Founders Crossing General, General Assistance Open Space, Park Developer Contribution, Park Town Road and Bridge, and Equipment and Building. I'll start the motion. I'll second it. Okay. We'll take a roll call. Uh, Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Shake? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Conley? Yes. Supervisor Ballage? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Okay, we have uh, no new business. Our old business is the micro pantry. Uh, I don't know, know the status of it yet because the micro pantry, I, we have to get with uh, Ed and the uh, Homer Republicans has teamed up with uh, Homer Township for the micro pantry. So 
we're going to be having uh, dog, or not dog, animal micro pantry. Pet micro pantry. So it's called a, yeah, Vicky's running that. <laughs> and then uh, we're having a human one. So if that's a good way to put it, so we don't mix up the animals and the humans, right? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're going to have uh, both kind, and uh, so if somebody that doesn't have enough money for food for themselves surely don't have enough money for their pet. So that's why this is important to you know help all our little animal friends, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So anyway, that's the status, of the update. We we still have, it's nice out now, so we can get going on it. We couldn't do it in the winter because it's too cold to go. Okay. okay, then we got um, no executive session, um, nothing else, so motion to adjourn. I'll start the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay, motion passes. Aye.